Hi and welcome to chord tutorial number 29. We'll be covering four chord shapes without the capo and then we'll cover their alternative chords with the capo at fret 3. First, let's go to G minor 7. G minor 7 is going to be at the third fret, just like that. We're going to be holding down everything below the A string with the first finger, barring that. Okay, you got to hold down all the strings. That might take a little work, but uh, with a little practice you'll be, able, you'll be able to do it. You're going to bring your thumb over, if you can reach it, and grab the top string, just like that. Okay, you're going to the low E string. So we're holding down everything below the A string and we're touching it. Touching that A string so it doesn't sound and we get this chord. That's a G minor 7. And it's a really good way to do a minor 7 chord because you can move that around and get any minor 7. Okay, so that's G minor 7. B flat is going to be done by holding down the note B flat at the first fret on the A string. And then you're going to bar the third fret below the A string like that. So you've got, now I'm not strumming the high E. And if I do, that's okay. If I do accidentally hit that one, it's okay. okay. That will result in us playing a uh, B flat 6, but it's okay if it does come out. That's B flat. Okay. All right, now we have F. Now F is a stair step chord, I call it. It goes stair stepping down like that. Then you're going to grab that high F. So you've got the high F at the first fret. You've got the B string, first fret, second fret, G string, third fret, D string. Now if you want a nice low note in there, go to the first fret with your thumb, try to get that, okay? And the A is okay, you can have that open. Or you can just play from the A string, like that, if that F is tough for you. So there's your F right there. We're going to do now what is called a C major 11. We're going to play a normal C chord and then add an F at the bottom. So we've got an 11th there. So our C add 11, we can call it that. C and then add it 11. So we've got C, third fret, A string. We're going to place a finger at the second fret on the D string and then leave the G string open go to the first fret with the first finger for B and the E string the B and the E string both held down there so we get this sound like that and that's C major 11 and I'm strumming from the A string I could add the E and that would be okay I needed to. Sounds a little better without the low E though. So I would go from there, from the A string. Alright. Now, let's place the capo at the third fret and we're going to do the uh, capo alternatives to those chords. Alright, we now have our capo placed at the third fret and we're going to do an E minor form or E minor 7 form okay and that's going to take the place of our G minor 7 okay we're at the second fret away from the capo and we've got one finger just one on the A string at the second fret right. that's easy that's your replacement for G minor 7. Okay, and that is an E minor 7 form. Now we're going to do a regular G form, which is going to replace our B flat.
that's G. Okay, so we've got finger up here, third fret away, second fret away on the A string, and then down, third fret away on the high B and the high E string, right? So we've got two fingers up here and two fingers down here, and that's our G form, replacing our B flat chord. Now we're going, in this instance, we're going to replace our F chord with a D suspended 2 form, which is going to give us a little different sound, but it, it, it's a good replacement, like that. So we've got the ring finger on the third fret away from the capo on the B string, and then we're going to have our middle finger on the G string at the second fret away and strum that from the A string. And that's a D suspended two form. We're replacing the F chord with that. Now we're going to replace the C major 11 with an A suspended four form and simply we're going to stay where we are and then add a finger on the D string at the second fret away from the capo. And that's a suspended four, right there. And we strum that from the A string if possible. So we get this sound. Nice sound. All right. Well, that wraps it up for chord tutorial number 29. Thanks for stopping by. Have a great day.